Hey everybody, it's good to see you today. Thanks for watching Speak and See. Like and subscribe uh, if you would want some more information on some idle loans, PPPs, and tax uh, tax questions. I will be going live tonight at nine o'clock for those of you who are, who have questions and would like them answered. Uh, we will be doing that live tonight at nine o'clock as we do uh, nine o'clock Florida time, as we do that often often here on this channel. Um, I put together this video for you. It's a uh, how to get an increase for your idle. Second round of idle loan increase modification. Also, if you're denied the other steps that you're gonna to have to be taken in order to go through the process of the, the reconsideration letters after being denied, going through that process again. So hopefully this uh, video here can be like a um, idle loan increase 101 tutorial for those people that are going through this out there who are needing some help and asking questions. And once again, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the video, like and subscribe, have a blessed day. Bye. Back in the pot and we can go ahead and go apply for a second idle loan now. Let's do this. You're gonna, um, it's gonna be done through reconsideration and basically what you're asking for here is an increase or a loan modification. Um, first thing you need to do is, uh, I, can, I can even send you the information, I'll have the information up here as well that will give you the uh, instructions on doing this. Um, give us a thumbs up, a like and subscribe, and we will try to help you in more uh, ways than one as far as getting idle loans, grants, PPP lending, and uh, whatever if you have questions on the uh, Small Business Administration stuff like that. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is um, we need to write a written request with a brief explanation as to why the increase is necessary. So we will do that in our letter. But we're going to be doing this all through the PDC uh, dot reconsideration at SBA.gov. So here we go. I'm opening the page right now. At, when you go in there, you're going to put uh, from you will have your email here, uh, reconsideration.gov to, and then in the subject line, they're asking that you capitalize and write in the subject increase. You put that in caps. Increase. That's going to be your heading. And we got that for the subject, so that's for proper routing. Okay, so the next thing we do is they're saying you need a, a written request with brief explanation as to why the increase is necessary. So I am going to put um, due to the lack of funds, or how about this? Due to Our funds being exhausted for payroll, rent, and utilities, etc. Okay, so we got that. Well, that's why it's necessary. Reason why it is necessary. We will do that as the reason why it is necessary. Hello, my name is, you will put your name. Uh, I would like to apply for the loan increase modification due to our funds being exhausted from the first round with payroll, rent, utilities, etc. Next, you're gonna write uh, a sign, you need to give them a signed IRS 4506T form for all borrowers and instructions. So I'm gonna pause this. So that's the next thing that we do. We have to sign a 4506T form. I will show you how to go about getting that now. We're going to go into another window. Type in 4506T form. You go to there, you click get form, and there you go. There's the form. So what you're gonna do with this now is, hopefully if you can download it, go to 40 IRS form 460T. So now once you're there, you enter the, t you would enter your name here, and you would fill out the 4506 form, 4506T form, okay? 
You would put your name here, so speak and see, da da da, boom boom boom, text, sign, sign, da da da, boom boom boom, draw signature, and you would have upload signature here, scan or sign, and you would do all of your biddings inside of this form in the PDF filler. Okay, after that's done, you can send document via USPS and send it to your own email here, okay? So you do that and you would send it via email and uh, that, uh, done login, you would do all that. So you would do that and then you would have your, your 456OT form into, into this email and you would add it into your attachment. Then you would uh, most recently filed federal tax return including, so here we are part two, we have done our um, 4506T. So showed you that part. Now the part three we're going to do most recently filed federal tax return including all schedules. So we would go to the our taxes so whether you got it from say you did it from HR H&R Block or you know filed your own taxes you would go and get your same taxes that you would download loaded online and you would also add that attachment as well. Then you would write increase. So when the increase is based on the change due to application information, um, if, if your like business as your application information on your business is going to change, um, you would need to do a 3502 form and attach the 3502 form as far as your change of information. So after all that, all you're going to do is click send. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't want to send that right now because I'm not doing that right now. So you would click send and that would be it. You would have already you would have applied for a loan on your increase. That's pretty simple. It's about as easy as you can get. And uh, hopefully this all helps. Thank you all very much. Have a blessed day. I got mine back. I got my consideration letter back. And you know what? I've been declined. I was denied. Access denied. I was denied the second round. What? Dear SBA applicant. Application number so and so. We have received a request for modification of the financial information on your disaster loan application. Yes, you have. That's good. At this time, we are unable to complete your request as the documentation provided did not contain significant new information to warrant revision of your application. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, what we're going to do here is uh, the reconsideration letter we, that I just got denied for. I'm um, going to call up and we got denied for um, insufficient documentation of our business. So I'm going to find out right now exactly what kind of documentation that they're going to need since I did give them what I thought was significant information. Uh, we're going to find out what, what it is that they're actually looking for that uh, would be more significant than what I have provided. I provided them last year's taxes last year's income and uh, as well as this year's uh, income for my business. So we're gonna find out exactly what they're looking for. Hopefully we can find that out now. So let's give them a shout and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna call tier two um, of the SBA. Since the reconsideration is just a letter, they haven't given me any uh, phone numbers to call. It's 877-221-6874. Calling SBA customer service. My name is Brittany. My agent ID number is 75. How can I help you today? Yeah, hi Brittany. My name is. I uh, recently hi. I recently applied for a reconsideration on my uh, business to get a uh, increase for modification on my idle loan. I just got a letter that said they were unable. the The documentation that I provided wasn't significant enough to warrant a revision for my application. Um, so I was just wondering, because I, I, I sent them information of last year's income and this year's income, mm -hmm. and I was wondering mm -hmm. uh, what else, what other documentation I would need to provide for my reconsideration to be uh, um, looked at again. What is your application number? It's 0320. Zero, zero. For verification purposes, can you please verify the last four of the social security number and data bar? Yeah, it's six. 
I was just kind of wondering what kind of documents they would that I could provide. I'm just trying to take a look at the notes. Sure, take your time. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so based on the notes that are in here, mm -hmm. um, and then looking back at the application, um, for the gross for 12 months on the application, it had some 73. And in the notes, it's saying that when I took a look at the tax return, the amount was actually 88. So it says applicant application was funded beyond eligibility based on overstated figures. So it was saying that my application was overstated, but they're not counting my. Mm -hmm. um, so they are stating in these notes to. Um, reach out to the um, PDC reconsideration and ask them exactly what they would need because you wouldn't be doing another recon. You would just be asking them like... Oh, okay. So I wouldn't be... The exact details that they would... So I would be going straight to the people who loan me the money? So you would be emailing the reconsideration team again, but you will just be asking them basically what you're asking me because they'd be able to give you more information. Okay. Um, so it would just go right back. Like what? Right. So okay. I would just send them a PDC recon a, a email just asking like what you would need or what you should have done or so, so you can get the loan increase amount Okay. that you are needing. Okay, so we went through all of that to get here, back to our original email saying that we were denied of the second round. So the purpose for going through all of that is to get the information on the outside that you need because she was able to look at the application and go over those little areas where you may want to have some documentation on before you take it to the next step. So I would suggest that everybody go through that phone call that I just went through and now you know have a little bit of what you're going to need and how it's going to go, how it's going to look, so that you can have that extra information to go for forward in your next email instead of going blindly. Uh, so, so as far as they're saying with mine is the numbers didn't match, which is normal because how many times have we been denied? How many people have been denied because their numbers don't match or bank account number didn't match? Your taxes are different here than they look there. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say, hello, and thank you for your time. I was denied for an increase due to improper insufficient paperwork documents. If you could please let me know what other documents you would like in order for my business to obtain an increase. I would wholly appreciate it. Thanks. And you'll put your name, I'll put my name there. And then we send an avenue to take on, on the next step. This is the third one if you've been declined again. You're probably wondering to yourself, you're asking, hey, I'm looking at your, uh, your backdrop there and I'm seeing two reconsideration letters that say the exact same thing. And that's correct. That's what they sent me. Two reconsideration letters 
that were declined. My, my uh, reconsideration for an idle increase was declined the first time, and they sent me a letter. You refer, the first letter says this, we, we have reviewed a request for modification of financial information on your disaster of loan application. At this time, we are unable to complete your request as the documentation you provided did not contain significant new information to warrant a revision of your application. If you disagree with our decision, you may request reconsideration subject to the availability of funds. You can email your request supporting documentation to pdrecons at sba.gov. Sincerely, blah, blah, blah. Now, the next letter that we get says on October 23rd, I got it back. We have reviewed the same exact thing. So that's why I put it up behind me. So you can see that if you get a letter that says the same exact thing, what do you do next? Well, like we did the first time, we called them up and said, well, what, what can I do? What kind of uh, documentation can I give you? I, what, what's my next step? And I went through the process and I can bring it back up maybe and just throw a little clip of the last phone call in there as well. But that's what we're going to do again today. We're going to call them up and say, hey, I don't understand why my documentation is not there. I gave you more documentation. I still don't understand why you're sending me back the same email or what, can, what kind of documentation can I give you that they're looking for for my increase to be uh, reviewed. So I'm going to go over that uh, phone call with you right now. And you can uh, uh, see what you're going to have to go through. Check it out. Thank you for calling the SBA customer service desk. My name is Jim. My agent number is 2554. Can I get your application number, please? Yes, my application number is. And who am I speaking with? My name is. Some questions. Let me make sure I'm speaking with the right person. Yep. What is your date of birth, please? And last four of your social security number? How can I help you, sir? Yeah, I put in for a, um, a, a reconsideration for a, um, an increase on my idle loan, and I was denied. Mm -hmm. I, I got denied on my second application for not having the, um, the right uh, paperwork, it says. The documentation okay. for documentation. And I was just wondering what kind of documentation I, I would, uh, they would need from me. Okay, so with the documentation that you provided with the original application, um, they, they gave you the loan that you're um, eligible for. Okay. Uh, and when you asked for an increase, you provided the same paperwork with no um, change in the revenues or cost of goods sold. So um, you wouldn't be eligible for any more funding. Okay. The same numbers. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because this year, I actually my my I, I provided the paperwork for this year as well with it. Um, but mm -hmm. I, but my numbers were lower. Um, so does that mean it wouldn't be eligible mm -hmm. for a loan because my numbers were lower? Maybe. Correct. Oh, uh, you got me. Okay, that's what I. That's all I needed to know. Okay, well that's the case. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for your help. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we have it. You see what happened there? I gave them documentation of this year saying that my funds were decreased with my business. So with the decreasing of finances instead of being... <laughs> wow, guys. Information number one, if you go back for your loan, you're going to have to send them documentation that your business has increased in, in funding, that you've made money. It still doesn't sound right to me. I ain't buying it. Nah, nah, wrong answer, dude. And don't you buy it either. Here, here's, we got we to gotta think about what he just said. He wants, our, he wants to see our number. They want to see our numbers increased in order for us to get a loan increase. So what they're saying, what he's saying, him, remember, this isn't every agent, this is just this guy. They're all different. But what he's saying is, he wants to see our numbers this year in our business be better than they were last year. So he wants to see the numbers during COVID 
during a pandemic when the economy was shut down. He's saying the numbers have to be better than last year's numbers when the economy was booming before we gave you the loan. We gave you the loan for what? For what reason is this loan? For pandemic. But you want to see me have made more money during this pandemic than I made last year without a pandemic? And times were hot. Everybody's banking. I ain't buying it. Now, what sense does that make? None. Correct. It makes none. So we need to try to help them make sense out of the process which is being performed on us right now. We are not taking no for an answer. Nope. Also a part where I need to, you guys to realize and understand. It's not an easy battle. No, nobody's going to come running at you to take the money. But what I'm saying is, is when you keep going for it and you keep pushing for it, that's when you get it. And that's the people that I have had, uh, that I have been with through these things who kept pushing for it and pushing for it, who finally did get it. But here's what they go through. And here's what you may have to go through in order to get these uh, loans and these grants. Here's what we have to stick to. Here's what we have to go through. And this is part of the process. And to let you know, it's not easy. But we just can't keep giving up. So tomorrow, I'm going to call back and get a different agent and find out what they have to say. Because I want different answers than what I'm getting. And that's the whole key here so that we can put in another reconsideration form with a different route to take to get our money. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a great night. Bye.